will tell you that the, probably the biggest thing that uh, that I appreciate about uh, eMetrotel is that uh, they take the idea of a channel partner seriously. We don't work for eMetrotel. <laughs> we uh, we are partners. Um, you, uh, you guys have been really good at making sure we've got what we need to be successful. And uh, my customers have no really have no idea who you are. Uh, with um, the uh, with some of our other manufacturers we've worked with, there's, there's been some intrusion. Folks are well, you know, we should do this or we should do that. Look, just back off. This is what we need, and uh, and you guys are always there to support us, even if it's feature changes or hey, can how can we make this happen? Well, it can't do this, but it can do that. Um, communication is 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 fantastic with eMetrics. One of the things which we face with any major companies, and that includes Nortel and uh, the other manufacturer, was that to get support for a customer, it was a very lengthy, complicated process. We will have to open a ticket, we'll have to put in some information, and whatever. It just took forever to get the support. With eMetrotel, what we like is we can get instant support. If we have, if you run into a problem, we open a ticket very quickly. We got a phone call, we get some updates and the support is very, very quick and efficient. This is something we have been missing in other systems. And secondly, like we have had some opportunities whereby eMetrotel came with us to the customer site. Um, they actually helped us with the presentation and whatever. So they have, they have helped us in selling uh, marketing the product a lot as well. Excellent question. I've been in this game now for uh, 37 years. Uh, worked for Arbox and then Sprint, always selling equipment. And uh, the way I always sold my, my systems to my customers was an, uh, an a application sales approach where I needed to understand what they needed but I also need to understand how the product would work to fit that, not just, oh yeah, it'll do it. How does it actually do that? And when uh, uh, partnering with eMetrotel, one of the best benefits to me as a distributor is when I bring an issue to the technical support team, it's immediately valid, where that wasn't always the case in the other worlds, where you brought something to their attention, it would just kind of get swept under the rung, or, oh yeah, we know about that. Now, if I bring something to, Tim or Misha or to Patrick or to Glenn or any one of those guys, it gets treated with the concern and the interest that it needs to be. Cause sometimes it's me. I mean, I make mistakes like the next guy, uh, but every, you know, a number of times we found some issues working collaboratively to say, okay, this is what it's supposed to do, but it's not. And if, you know, if I bring that concern to them and document it appropriately, I get lots and lots of collaborative feedback and input and resolution. Ultimately, that's what it boils down to. Um, so that's to me one of the biggest benefits um, to me over any manufacturer. And I've dealt with NEC, I've dealt with uh, Samsung, I've dealt with Avaya. Never had that kind of a support uh, on the technical side, period. Now we heard about eMetrotel, and so we brought them in to see about. Um, the uh, you know how the Nortel phones would work on on the UCX and uh, what we sort of as advertised not only did they retain all their old features they gained so much more um, but then with the the the, uh, the UCX it uh, since it could use virtually any SIP device that opened up a whole new realm um, of, uh, of of customers for us in, in using it and it just got to really be sort of our our primary go-to for, uh, for for um, especially our small to medium-sized customers, and the uh, um, one of the big things about it was it was just um, from a maintenance standpoint on our end, it was just so easy. Upgrades, updates, matter of minutes as a matter as a, as opposed to matters of hours with uh, some of the other manufacturers we've worked with, and uh, um, and so it really got to be. Uh, and, and still is, you know, our favorite uh, solution with regards to, um, especially the Nortel folks and folks that are using SIP devices. 
we came across eMetrotel. And eMetrotel solution had a few positive things which kind of uh, carried us towards them. So if I if I put them into um, a few points, so first first thing which we liked about eMetrotel, they had these servers, um, the systems which had a lot of functionality, which was not available in other systems. For example, fax server, call details, conference bridges, and all that without buying any additional licenses or servers. Secondly, um, the reason why we uh, migrated to eMetrotel was we were also indulging into some uh, uh, open standard systems like Elastix, Free PBX, and when we looked at um, eMetrotel, the interface was very similar to Elastix, and our technicians were all very familiar with this uh, interface, so we thought eMetrotel will be a great addition. Uh, third thing which, which um, brought us to eMetrotel was that a lot of our customers have been using Nortel, and when we put them onto this other major manufacturer system, somehow they didn't have all the functionality. They were not able to use all their hardware, all the phones. With eMetrotel, they had that advantage, and that is the reason why it worked out really well. As a long time Nortel guy, I just what I could tell myself. I mean, uh, my years of working in telecommunications and selling CTE, uh, it was always in the Nortel background, and I saw what value that the Nortel brought to the end user, uh, courtesy of the Evergreen Theory. And when Nortel came to its demise, and the writing was on the wall when uh, Avaya bought them, I had to find a product that would allow that to continue and protect my customers from uh, many of them, many, many, many dollars of investment. And uh, I had a friend introduce me to the UCX, and it was very obvious to me within about six minutes of looking at the platform and what it would do that this made the most sense for my end users because all of them were legacy either uh cics mics or vcm 5400 customers and um you know i did have a couple option 11s and things like that but it allowed them to preserve a great deal of their uh original hardware investments and more importantly for the end users they didn't have to relearn a completely different um operating system in terms of how to use the product layered on top of it nicely is the nice things that the UCX brings to it, particularly in terms of you know, being able to jump to the IP SIP world, which um, unfortunately the VCM and the Northstar platforms weren't designed to do.